the tears uh, streaming down is um it's my uh it's it's me personifying pain, but in that pain I've learned so much, and so what the uh, what that rainbow is if anybody knows anything about physics like I'm in love with physics I'm in love with science it's the electromagnetic spectrum that we can see and these two hearts this heart sitting where it's supposed to be is is sad right he looks like he's sad. And the heart that where he's not supposed to be, he's happy, right? So it's the juxtaposition of like, what are we supposed to be doing? You know, what is right? What is wrong? And he's free and he's happy. And he's where he's supposed to be. He's home and he's upset and he's sad. So, so that's, that's where that comes from. And then the universe is, I mean, I'm in love with the universe, man. So it's just, it's just a huge mystery. Flamingo and Kovo is uh, it's the intersection where uh, Tupac died. It's where he was shot in Las Vegas. Nevada. I feel like um, uh, hip, hip hop took a hit when he passed. He inspired me as a, as a young kid to just hope, to just think that there was something other than the neighborhood. He's very intellectual, so I'm very interested to hear the music. I'm thinking it's gonna be on some higher level. I know it's not gonna be whack, I know that much. I'm, if I go in there and I hear like Molly Purpose, I'd be very disappointed, <laughs> but I'm, I'm excited. Hey. Amazing music. He actually has a cohesive process. I love that he rapped over jazz and soulful beats. It was really exciting to listen to like his lyrics because he actually rapped about substance and something about a story, which doesn't happen in just regular, regular hip hop. And um, it's apparent and pretty clear that he took this seriously. Every song, like you could just kind of feel the emotion, you could feel the energy, the vibration, and that it, it touched me. Like I wanted to hear more. I loved it. I've been to a ton of listening parties for musicians that are on the come up, and this was way different. So this is the um, <clears throat> this is the last record. It's the outro. Um, so just like the intro, I feel like the outro should just be bars. And uh, this is I feel like my strongest written. Uh, it's just it means a lot to me, and uh, I've cried several times listening to this because it just means that much to me, man. So this is the last jump. I appreciate y'all. Fuck with me so far, man. And so just <laughs> this last jump. <laughs> oh, so. So, so this last don't just just try to feel what I'm saying because it's like it's coming from the bottom of my soul. So I appreciate the uh, the effort, man. Appreciate it, man. So I, I, uh, I appreciate everybody, man, that came out and spent three hours. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fucking with somebody who was like, "Here's some athlete making music." You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I, I, I highly appreciate it, man, because um, I always tell my people, man, like, like if I die before this shit release, man, like your job is to make this shit go out. You know what I mean? Like, I want my kids to hear this. Like, I want my people that love me to hear this because it's everything that I was and everything that I am. I'm giving you my heart and I'm saying, do you like it? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> do you? Please like it. Like, but it's, it's, it's nerve wracking as shit, but it's like at the end of the day, it's like, man, this is me. Man, take it a little, I don't, like, fuck it. You know what I mean? Like, and, and that's, that's all I hope people get from this shit. It's like, like, this is me, go for it. I've, I've, I've retired my mother, I've retired my father, I've, I've been at the pinnacle of my profession, I've done all that shit, but like, there's no better feeling than playing this and having somebody go like this. Yeah. I swear to God, like, it's Thanks. no better feeling. It's no better feeling. Like, 
Man, much love. Thanks for sharing the music. No, man. I came here, I thought she was going to play some wax SoundCloud shit. He comes at the music from a different perspective than I've heard anyone come at. In that way, this is very unique and just, I don't know, just real, man. Just leave here with kind of unique perspective on life. <laughs> it's crazy. I was impressed as hell, man. Man, I appreciate it so much, bro. Wow. The, the fucking rhyme schemes are crazy, bro. I appreciate it. The rhyme schemes are fucking wild, man. You did your thing, bro. I appreciate it, man. It was surprising, to say the least. He's not just an athlete trying to rap. He's an artist. People will respect it because it's easy to make music, but it's hard to, to make good music. That's what I always say. So he makes good music. There's a room full of strangers that kind of knew who I was, but left like knowing who I was. You know what I mean? It was um, it's the most I could ask for. I don't think it, it was ever becoming. I think it was just kind of like accepting it. Why don't you sit right with the mirror, man? Like, who's, like, what can anybody say that's going to rock you? It doesn't matter. Like, this is who I am. I love, I love doing this, and I'm going to keep doing it until I find the, the perfect me. In my humble opinion, freedom is loving yourself unapologetically, and it's doing what fulfills you as a human. If you've ever done anything in your life to where it's 2 o'clock in the morning, and you're like, I haven't ate today. Holy shit, I forgot to eat. Uh, that's what you were supposed to be doing. Because it's not, it's not work, it's love. It's like, that's what I have with music. I wish everybody could feel that. Fuck all of the noise. This is, this is what I love to do.